what's going on, fellow Kinies? My name is Pabukini, and today I am bringing the episode for Pokemon Y Walkthrough. In the last episode, we explored Frost Cavern. I think that's what it's called. And, uh, well, we arrived on over here. Uh, this, this town over here. And then we went ahead and explored Frost Cavern. This place looks so, so different than the last episode. Or does it? I don't really know. Anyway, in today's episode, we're gonna go ahead on east and see what there is to do there, because we are done here. There's nothing for us to do here anymore. We're literally, we've, we've got everything in this town, man. Everything. As always, thank you so much for watching. It really means a lot to me, and be sure to hit that like button and some love, as it, it's lonely, man. It's very lonely, and I'm sure if you give it some love, it'll give some love back to you. Um, but yeah, let's jump into today's episode then. So we're gonna go on east now, and I see what Pokemon I have on me, because I feel like this is like the perfect moment right here for fucking Torino or Trevor or this the whole squad to come battle you, so I think we're pretty good there right there. I just wanted to see if we're healed up and stuff like that and if we got some good Pokemon on us. But yeah, we're gonna go on Mammoth Swine Path now because we did go ahead and take care of what Mammoth Swine was so afraid of, which was Team Flare. And yeah, I don't know why I said it like that. But there are a few trainer battles you can actually do over here. Uh I, I don't really think they're that like that important, but yeah, he this guy's gonna tell you about how you can ride on Sno Mammoth Swine's back, as you cannot get over there without getting on Mammoth Swine. Man, by far one of the coolest things that Pokemon X and Y has brought into brought us was the ability to ride on Pokemon. Like I don't know why it's just like, oh, there's wall Pokemon over here. Are you serious, man? I thought there'd be no wall Pokemon here, but no, there are some wall Pokemon you can catch over here. So this deli birds and shit like that. I don't. Um, should I catch a deli bird? Because I kind of want to start catch. catch uh, I kind of want to start catching a lot of Pokemon in X and Y. Um, I don't know why. I just feel like it's probably a good idea to start catching some Pokemon in this game. Because we haven't done much of that. We've caught like like twelve Pokemon, maybe. I don't. I'm not too sure, but we we have caught a few Pokemon, but not that many. And yeah, but we're, we're gonna explore this Mammoth Swine path over here. Uh, if you go over here and you see these boulders, yes, they can be moved. You just have to press A, and Mammoth Swine will move them away out of your way. Uh, I guess I have to go over here. I kind of like the thing I don't like about these move mechanics with these Pokemon that like that move around and stuff like that is that they're kind of wonky to be honest. They're very, very wonky. Like, if you use the circle pad, that's even I don't like using the circle pad at all for uh, when you're on Pokemon, but if you press B. You'll get off the Mammoth Swan, and there's a few things you can do over here, such as, can you go up here? You can. And I, over here, I, oh, okay, this is just a Sky Trainer battle. I thought that's where the item was, but no, I guess the item is back here. If you go over here. Okay, that, I feel like that's, I feel like there should be an item right there, man. I feel like there should be an item over there. Just because it's literally, like, in the middle of nowhere. It's just like, yo, man. I'm gonna tease you by putting this thing over here, wasting your time, and then, yeah. But I guess there's no item over here, and then over here you get yourselves a Icicle Plate, which powers up Ice-type moves, and well, if you've got an Arceus, you are able to use it on Arceus, and Arceus will be turned into an Ice-type event, so that's always good. I guess that's very, very good, I don't really know. Let's get back on Mammoth Swan here, oh, you can't, because we got this thing on, so let's... Mammoth Swan, there we go, buddy, let's get on you now. And continue onward with our journey. Like, look at this. It's so screwy, the move mechanics. I gotta, like, turn it around, like, a whole fucking 360 degrees. Like, buddy, I doubt that an actual Mammoth Swan would have that much troubles doing that. But onward over this way to the, uh, west side. Uh, there are these boulders over here. I don't think I've actually gone back here, to be honest. I don't... I do not remember getting... going back. But I'm gonna get off my Mammoth Swan once again. And we're gonna run back here to... S oh, no, I don't want it. Shit, we gotta use Mammoth Swan again because the game's like, yo, man, we're gonna put all these rocks here so that you think, hey, man, I've got, I've destroyed those other two rocks so I can now just go on without destroying any more rocks. Not the case, and what are we gonna get back here? Probably gonna get, like, another trainer battle or something like that. Something stupid, I can just see it happening. Oh, no, there's actually a Pokeball back here. What is that Pokeball, though? It is a rare candy. No, it's a calcium. All that work is for a calcium. I guess milk is very, very important. So it makes sense for us to get calciums and stuff like that. But I would have, I would have liked a rare candy or something, man. Because like, look at this. Driftblum needs to level up. Here's only level 34, while the rest of the gang is in the 50s. I think once Driftblum's actually level 40, 
I will then go ahead and actually start using it and battle stuff like that because then, then I'm comfortable with it. I'm like, yeah, I shouldn't have troubles with be battling trainers or stuff like that with a level 40 because, well, I don't, I'm pretty sure that, well, mom, if you're in a lock, for example, I highly doubt your Pokemon will be in the 50s right now just because, I don't know, I just feel like, I, I don't know, I just feel like if, and again, on my Omega Ruby Wonderlock series, my Pokemon are in the, I think in the 50s when we battled the Elite Four, so I don't, I don't really know. But over here, I guess you don't really have to use Memoswan across this. Well, you don't, you can actually, because it's, yo, I hate, man, lately the Nintendo, the Nintendo servers have been so screwy around lately. Uh, I really, oh, look, Clipper Seed, okay, who is this, who is this? They use Torino or them. Yeah, I was right. It's cheek. This time, I challenge you to battle from the Alistar City Gym. Prepare yourself. Okay, well, I guess we gotta take on Serena over here, which is... Which is not fun at all. I hate... Literally, in this game, the rivals are exactly... Oh, there's a Red Kines thing about. Uh, in this game, the rivals are exactly like they are in Black and White. And not, I don't want to say Black and White 2 as much. It's more black and white, where literally every route you go on, your rivals are there, and it's just like, why? Why? That... It's just... What? I don't get it. You guys may get it, but for me, honestly, I, I honestly don't get it. You there. Hey, it's you! I came in place to you to tell you something. There's a re person here in Anastor City who knows about the legendary Pokemon. Oh, I almost forgot, I bought- I brought you some gifts, put them to good use! Huh! Since when do- I guess these aren't really the professor's uh, assistants, they're actually like... The whole different other people. But here's Out of Star City! I- a lot of information and stuff has happened since the last time we played Pokemon Y. Well, since the last time I played Pokemon Y. So this lady right here gives you TM35 Flamethrower! So that's always nice, getting flamethrower from her. I did not expect that at all, to be honest. I was just, I went in to heal my Pokemon up, and then I realized I haven't battled anything. And then I, and then I talked to everybody in there, and I was like, yo, this lady gives you flamethrower. We're going to learn how to Tyranitar over here, actually, just because, well, we need a fire-type move on Tyranitar. Or any, on any Pokemon, actually, because we don't have any, like, fire-type Pokemon. I think when I get rid of Thrash, to be honest, it's because Thrash does do recoil damage, and it, I think it makes you confuse as well, so it's kind of like... A shitty ass move. Frost Breath, nobody can learn that. That's fine! We don't really have any... Dragon-type Pokemon to battle at the end of this game, and I don't... At least I don't think the Leaf 4 has any Dragon-type Pokemon. I can read Pokemon Memories. People call me the Memory Girl. Do you want the memory of your Pokemon? Sure, what a... What's the memory of Sylveon like? See, like, look at this. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We got twelve, so I was right. We got twelve Pokemon, which is pretty bad, actually. Like, I don't know. I, I guess it's just it's because it's my. I shouldn't. I was gonna use it, the excuse that it's a let's play, but the fuck you doing? I wanted you to read Sylveon's. Okay, that is fine. I guess we can read that. But yeah, in Anastar City, there is another clothing store over here. I don't think there's gonna be anything better than what we've got on right now. Yeah, I didn't think so. What we got on right now, like, look at this. So fucking stylish, man. What we got on, we got, what we got on right now, ain't nothing gonna mess with that. I kinda wanna change my hair still, but it, it fits my hair that I have right now pretty damn well. So yeah, we're, we're not gonna w worry about that. But in Anastar City, since the last time I recorded Pokemon Y, we actually got new Pokemon games. Now, I normally don't like talking about Pokemon games in general. Um, ooh. Okay, okay. I do remember that some of them are pretty shitty, but I just don't remember. I think Tony learns ice, right? Am I right? Yeah. Flying! Okay, okay. That is very interesting. But anyway, like I was saying, I don't really like talking about new events that are happening in the Pokemon community in a walkthrough. But since we are in Anastar City, it fits pretty damn well. Since the last time I recorded Pokemon Y, we got some new information on new Pokemon games. Generation 7, actually. And they are called Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Noon. You probably heard about them, because I did do 
some coverage stories of them and probably doing them right now as well. And well, Pokemon Moon and Sun. In uh, Anastar City, there is a sundial. And well, there is somewhere in, I think it's Anastar City, there is a guy that does talk about the uh, moon dial as well. So it kind of brings back the question which I asked when they got leaked because well they wouldn't reveal they were revealed on a Nintendo Direct but they actually got leaked like a day early before the Nintendo Direct actually was gonna give the information on the game so like we it wasn't that hype this year this Nintendo uh, this year's Pokemon Direct every other year's Pokemon Direct has been pretty damn it it's exciting I hate to be I would love to take care of a little five or under Oh, uh, I don't have anyone on me but I've, I think I got somebody in the PC box I don't know why this guy would be raising Pokemon, it's for free, man, like, yo, that's pretty, it's cool, I guess. But yeah, so, that's pretty cool, I guess, and look, Jake, who is this? Oh my god, I thought I'd go in front of the fucking Sundial of Battle, yeah, I don't wanna, like, well, I guess we're taking on a battle here, I'll continue my story later on, but we were battling Serena for, like, the bazillionth time, like, for fuck's sakes, man, we, are you that? Are you that lonely that you literally just gotta battle us every single time when we get to a new city or a route? I feel like that's unnecessary, Serena. I feel like that's very, very unnecessary. I'm gonna go fake out. Okay. Ah! Nice and cold water. It's so good. Because I've been recording a lot of stuff today. Like, a lot. And well, you gotta you gotta get drinks in there as well sometime. Uh, Shadow. Okay, I don't get. I I'm pretty sure that your rivals are supposed to have super potions and stuff like that. Cause I do remember. If I'm not, I might just be hallucinating. Cause it is pretty early in the morning. Like it is. I literally just woke up like two hours ago, which isn't that bad. But I usually, like I said, I, I like to keep my recordings away from when I just woke up. Cause I'm still like kind of in that waking up phase where I'm trying to like figure out shit. You know. I'm pretty sure you guys know what I'm talking about, so I, I think, if I'm not mistaken, there have been rivals in the past that have used items and like healing potions and stuff like that, so I'm kind of like, wondering like, hey man, why is that not a thing in this game? I'm gonna go for Venerous against the Absol, because I think she's gonna Mega Evolve Absol, to be honest. Because now that we've got Mega Evolution, I think she's gonna Mega Evolve, to be honest. Or is that battle later on? I don't really know. Not too sure. Okay, no, that battle is way later on. I think that's an after game, to be honest. Wow! If that is an after game, I'm very, very sorry for uh, frightening some people that literally just picked up this game and are watching this walkthrough. I did not mean to frighten you like that. Uh, but there we go. Ooh, level 59! Holy Jolteon, we're gonna go into our powerful power. No, I, that thing's way too over level. We're gonna go into Bugs Bunny here. Bugs Bunny, or Diggersby, though, is pretty powerful as well, so I don't know why. He's I, I, like, why I went quiet when I was like, we're gonna go into our powerful- Oh, wait! Can't use Tarantar, because it's level 59. So we're gonna go into Bugs Bunny now, but Bugs Bunny's pretty powerful. But this- this Jolteon ain't nothing to a dig, man. This Jolteon's gonna get one hit KO'd right here. Watch, watch, watch. Watch this thing get destroyed. Actually, I would love to have a Jolteon on my team. Or a Flareon, man. A Flareon would be so nice. Our team, what we have right now, is very, very nice as well. Level 54, not bad. Can Driftloom level up? Yes, level 35. Sweet, sweet, sweet. And there we go. Just like that, we battled Trainer Serena. Or our rival, I guess. Look at that. We sh oh, I love that look, man. We look so fucking stylish. My Pokemon are so much stronger now, but you and your Pokemon are still one step ahead of us. Oh, anyway, I'll heal your Pokemon here. Yes, you better heal my Pokemon, lady, because, like, seriously, I, did, I thought I was going to battle in front of the Anastar City Sundial, but I guess not. We battle in front of the gym, actually. Um, anything over here? I don't think this place actually has any hidden items, but I'm just going to put this on just in case. Oh, there it is. Cur wow. Okay. I think it's over here, to be honest. I think it's, like, around here. Okay, it might just be over there then. Well, we'll go there and see. Look at this. This lady talks, but you know that there are moon dolls too. So I don't really know. I kind of just bring up the question: Why there's? I guess the I guess the sun dial and the moon dial. 
might just be a hint for well the for Pokemon Moon and Sun but then again we didn't really expect Pokemon Moon and Sun to even exist to be honest yeah I uh, that's I honestly thought they're gonna bring up generation 6.5 well, I guess you can kind of consider Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire Uh, generation 6.5 as they do have Primal Geraldon and Primal Kyogre and with that being said you can actually bring Primal Geraldon or Primal Kyogre into Pokemon X or Y and you can bring the new Mega Evolutions into Pokemon X and Y as well she you, I guess you can kind of consider um, whatchamacallit uh, Omega sorry see that's what I mean it's not a good place for me to record this early. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of like the thing. I guess you can kind of consider Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire Generation 6.5 just because, well, you can't actually bring Primal Grout on or... You got a Chandelure Man. I'm very impressed. I would have loved to have one of those. But I'm happy with my Drift Bloom. I know I'm competing so much. I'm just like, yeah, man. Would love to have that Pokemon and that Pokemon. And then it seems like I'm not happy with my own team. No, I'm very, very happy with my own team. It's just... Can we go in here? Yeah, I guess I am. I was... Okay. I'm pretty sure that's not the way you leave the store, buddy. But yeah, I recommend you doing the... I recommend you do these houses as well. Just because, well... They are very, very good. And... You get some good Pokemon entries from... Like I said... I, I know I said this like a few episodes ago. So I recommend you doing them. Anyway... Uh, so yeah, I guess you can consider those games Generation 6.5, so it doesn't really make sense for Pokemon Moon and Sun to be Generation 6.5. But I'm just kind of sad. There's so much stuff that we could have seen, and uh, that could have been explained, and uh, there's just so much stuff that could have been explained with, with, with X and Y 2.0. This be there's Because there's so many unanswered questions in this game. I'm not going to go through them because it's going to be spoilers on for later on. But yeah, there's so much stuff in this game that still needs to be explained. And well, I'm kind of sad that we didn't get something like we. Yo, what do you got to say for yourself? Very, very true. Oop art. This might have been made with Monsieur's. What the fuck is oop art? That sounds like you made an... It sounds like an accident ready to be made. Oops, it's art. Yeah, that's exactly what it sounds like. But yeah, this is the sundial or talking about and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. And I guess they were kind of sending hints at Pokemon Omega Ru not Omega Ruby, Pokemon Moon and Sun. I'm still getting used to saying those names just because it's something different. You would never would have expected there'd be Pokemon games called Pokemon Moon and Pokemon Sun. Then again, I guess you would have never expected there'd be games called Diamond and Pearl, and yeah. But with that being said, we're done exploring Anasar City. We can go get ahead and get take on this gym now, actually, which we're going to go do. Anastar City Gym. So this is a psychic type gym, I believe, if not mistaken. What do you know, Daddy O? Here you are, future champ. But oh, this place is amazing inside of a ball. Try and get your head around that one, right? And you find your way around. You'll have to watch out for all those psychic types. There got because I've got some crazy powers to my right. But don't give up, and you'll find your way. Alrighty, man. We will definitely do that. And I think I just got to step. Yeah. Look at that. I love this gem so much. So, so much. Like, you do not know how much I love this gem. Like, the first time I battled this gem, I was like, yo, that is so cool. Don't be distracted by your surroundings. Focus on unleashing your true power. Well, I'm pretty sure you're just giving yourself advice here because, well, you were being distracted because you lost. So, yeah. But anyway, when I first saw this gym, when I first played through Pokemon X, I was so amazed by how this gym looks. It's such a cool... It's literally such a cool little... What is the word I'm looking for? Not technique, but it's such a cool way of doing a gym where... It's literally like you're running in a ball. Everything's floating pretty much, and there's like a pretty much a like cosmic background in the, in the like the back back. It's just I don't know. Like it literally the first my and like I battled this gem and went through it. I was so amazed by how everything looks. It's just it's so pretty in here. Oh, I know I'm sounding like a fucking little girl right here. It's like oh, it's so pretty, yay! But hey, it's it's true. Let's look. Oh, this is so beautiful. Anyway, we're gonna go and see if we can. 
get somewhere else because it doesn't look like we're go. Oh, there we go. You can go anywhere as long as you never give up. Well, I guess that's very true. If you don't give up in life, you can go very, very far. And if you don't give up on your dreams, you can probably accomplish those dreams. We're not going to go over there just yet. Like I said, I do battle all the gym leaders. Or not. Fox says, I keep saying gym leaders, gym trainer, Pokemon type. Look at that, Salunatone. Pokemon Moon confirmed. I know, I'm, I'm making Sony Pokemon Moon jokes today. Just because I don't know, like... Those titles are just very, very awkward and weird, like Pokemon Moon and Sun. They haven't grown on me just yet, but I'm sure over the next few months they will grow on me. Uh, let's go battle you. What do you gotta say for yourself, trainer? I had a vision that we battle... That the battle we are about to have will be different from all previous battles. Okay, I did not know that guy was going to say that, and it kind of fitted well, because I, I put Zeppelin in front, thinking that I'd be able to use it, but no, it's not that powerful just yet for me to be able to use it, <laughs> and Tony died, so, that's always fun, I don't know how the fuck, how can a Drift Bloom, a level 36 Drift Bloom, resist, like, not die from a, um, a Psychic, but a level 54, dies from it. I, I guess Tony, it's super effective against Tony because he is part fighting type, but it's like yo, man. Does Driftblum have better defense than you? I think so! I think so, man. I, I think so. Uh, nothing over there. So let's go over here and go up this, and I think this is actually gonna lead us to the gym leader, or is there more? No, there's more puzzles for us to do. More. More, more, more puzzles for us to do, sadly. Actually, I don't have any mind these puzzles, man. Just because you can't see it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Okay, for one lady, I'm pretty sure if it if you can't see it, it doesn't exist because it means it's not there. Or we need some sort of gadget to see it. So uh, for now, I'm gonna go with whatever you can't see doesn't exist because let's say let's say if you're actually I'll, I'll, I'll talk about it later. Okay, we well, got a battle trainer first. This gem exists only by absorbing the power of the cosmos. Yeah, so short story short, I don't think anything you can't see means it does exist. It, it it doesn't exist. It's not there. You can't see it, so you, therefore it does not exist. Are you serious? What are the gym leader? That's okay. Let's let's go on east then. Uh, oh, there's nothing over here then. Okay, that's fine. So now we can go battle the final. Is that the final gym leader, or am I just fucking tripping balls here? No, we're gonna go and battle the seventh gym leader. Um, I, for some reason, I thought that was the final gym leader, uh, but it's not. The final gym leader is like an ice type gym leader. Anyway, let's go and uh, battle Olympia. But before you battle your gym leader, before be sure to save uh, in case you fuck up or you die or something like that happens. You have an advantage then, so go do that. And now we can go battle Olympia. A ritual to decide your fate in future. The battle begins. Alrighty, Olympia. Alrighty, the battle certainly does begin. What do you start with, Olympia? I'm actually, I forgot what she starts with. I think, she, oh, she starts with a Sigilith. That's not good at all for me. Not good at all. Because Sigilith is definitely going to outspeed our Tony here. So, we're... Mm, I, I know, yeah, I think we can... I, oh, what? What? I'm pretty sure Sigilov has some pretty damn s good speed stats, but I guess it doesn't. So you're probably gonna use a healing item. So that means I'm gonna go use a healing item. 
Because you're going to be a troll and use a healing item, so why not? Why not do the vice versa, eh? Yes, I can be a snub to Olympia. Um, yeah, look at that. Look at that, you hyper potion little old person. Okay, so that, there we go. Okay, let's go for a... Can this Shadow Claw take it out? No, it still brings it at that. Okay, that's fine, because that, that, I think... I don't even know. I think that brings... Too early, man. It's way too early to be recording. Uh, anyway, let's go for that Shadow Claw right here. Yes! Thank you! A critical hit from the crit gods! Thank you, because we... I was getting annoying with it, using Reflect and all that shit. Sloking. I'm gonna use Hammer Arm on this bitch. Because, well, Sloking can be very, very annoying. But I still love the design of Sloking, though. It's so cool. That... I hate the animation of Woodhammer in this game. What happened to the awesome animation we had of Woodhammer in Pokemon Platinum and Diamond and Pearl? Wait, Woodhammer has recoil? What the fuck? I'm pretty sure Woodhammer didn't have recoil before. And last but not least, or is, is this the last Pokemon? Or does she have four? No, I think that, yeah, this is your last Pokemon. It's Meowstick! As usual, Meowsticks, all Meowsticks go for Fake Out because that's how Meowstick is, I guess. But let's go for the Shadow Claw. And that should definitely... Oh, wow, it takes it out because we got blessed by the Crit Gods. And we're level 56. I think we caught up with the rest of the gang, actually. But oh, we did not catch up with Tyranitar, though. Man, it's amazing how Tyranitar is like such a good Pokemon, yet it levels up so fast in this game, so so fast. Now, the Psychic Badge, a testament to your skill, proof of your power. And it's like that. Do we get these? Is this called? Is is it really called the Psychic Badge? Is it really called the Psychic? Wow. Wow. That is very, very sad, actually. Why is it this called the Psychic Badge? Okay, uh... Sure, I guess I'll be teleported. Goodbye, Olympia! You, thank you for your awesome battle, even though it, it wasn't that good, man. For defeating this gym leader, I've got an engrave your name on what's gotta be the cooler statues around. Two of the cooler statues around. Check them out, would you? Let's check this out. Hey, we are in the Olympia City's two Pokemon t uh, statues. Yo, what's this? I'm sure getting the Psyche Badge wasn't too much trouble for you. Right, Jake? I think I'll challenge you a daily battle when the trip is all said and done. Seems like a neighborly thing to do. Let's have a rematch. Battling tough trainers is the best way to get stronger after all. Huh? What could this be? Pokemon trainers, I come to you by the Holocaster to make an important announcement. Listen well, Team Flight will revive the ultimate weapon and eliminate everyone who isn't in our group and return the world to a beautiful natural state. All productive fools are consuming our future. If nothing changes, the world will become ugly and conflicts will rage the land from end to end. I repeat, we will use the ultimate weapon and wipe this slate clean. I'm sorry for those of you who are not members of Team Flare, but this is due to you all. The fuck's happening to me then? I'm not part of Team Flare. What is happening? Ah! What was Sandra saying? Wiping the slate clean, eliminating everyone but Team Flare? Jake, let's look for, for Team Flare's headquarters. Where could Lissandra be? Perhaps this is where we first met him in Lumio City. Wow, isn't that just great? And as soon as that happens, there's Team Flare grunts over here. Team Flare forever because this outfit has extra pizzas. What? I don't know if that's a French word or not because, like I said, I wasn't the greatest in French when I did French when I did do French. But I doubt that's a French word. It literally, just sounds like they're just saying pizzas. It's that's literally what it sounds like. Anyway, before we end off today's episode, we're gonna go do Mr. Bonnie. Yes, we're gonna do Mr. Bonnie. You know what I mean? Uh, no, but we're gonna go talk to Mr. Bonnie, because he is in every Pokemon Center, I guess. Yes, it's going pretty good, my friend. Pretty good. What O power will you be giving me today? Let us see. Ooh, experience point level one. Huh. Not bad at all. Not bad. And just like that, you get that from Mr. Bonnie. 
Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, and uh, well, I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the day. In the next episode, we're gonna go figure out what Alessandra is up to and where his headquarters are. Until then, peace out, see you guys, and I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you for so much for watching.